How to Be Richer, Smarter, and Better Looking Than Your Parents by Zach Bissonati is the book I will be using for my 30 day project and try to improve my life over this 30 days. Yay, it's chapter 6. Here in my car, I feel safest of all. And what it means by that is to make sure I don't live in debt and to make sure that uh, whatever I try to buy, I can pay off within a few weeks or a few months and not have to worry about it way down the road. Today's April 1st, and I thought I might as well get this project started so I have to wait until the last minute, <laughs> like I usually do. So for my first goal, it was to make sure I stay out of debt. And considering all the money I make currently at my job goes towards my college tuition and all the basic necessities I'm going to need at college for food, water, and all that. Um, I have to make sure that I don't spend my money in any way, shape, or form that would otherwise be useless. For example, though, like my stepdad, he has a, he used to have a tutor for guitar, and he'd pay the guy and everything. Well, I mean, I'll just go out and learn the song by myself, and if I can't learn it, then I'll just keep practicing, practicing, learning, and learning as much as I can by myself. And eventually, I will learn how to play the song, because determination outweighs every single factor. It's March 30th, and I've pretty much just been focusing on staying out of debt, so... I've been watching what I spend my money on and making sure that what I make is a lot higher than what I have to spend and um, my money is like balancing out right now and then I also learned a lot of things so when I'm at my own house my feet in the future I won't have to rely on other people to do menial tasks and all that so so far so good. So one thing I like in this is chapter 5, it says spend less and live more, be happier, but don't get asked to appear on hoarders too often. And I, I agree with the spend less, because I have less money than what my parents do and everything. So when I get older, of course, I'm going to be able to spend money and I'll be able to get awesome mounts and stuff like my stepdad has all over his man's world, he calls it. But as of now, since I have no money, then I just got to be smart about what I do and just put the antlers up and just not get too sad about it. Just just look down and not look at his stuff too much. Today is April 8th and this is my second check-in report. But I've been staying true to my word and I have been not spending any of my money on useless things. Even if I want them. I don't know if I'll be able to keep doing this throughout my entire life but... It surely is helping me because I've been getting a lot more money saved up and it's going to be way more helpful and, uh, when I go to college. So I'm going to have to keep it up and just try to really push through and actually apply this to my life because if I do this during college, I'll be, able to, I'll be set, definitely. The second part of it was to live more. And I'm pretty sure the water can't be that cold on April Fool's Day. I mean, I thought it was just supposed to be a joke, right? Oh, God. God. You just gotta <laughs> live more, even if it gives you hypothermia.
April 17th and I've been practicing to live more and be happier side of things and I've just been hanging out with my friends more and going out and play basketball and football and catching movies and going with people and just doing a whole bunch of stuff so that I can actually try to do this 38 project and do it the right way but I don't know <laughs> trying to do stuff and then also trying to save money doesn't really ever add up so I've just been trying to get by and find stuff that are cheap and not like stupid cheap and everything and yeah, I mean it's going well so far so we'll have to see how this finishing plays out Like it said, watching TV will make it so you're dumber than your parents will be. But if you don't watch TV and you try learning stuff and keep your mind active, then it helps you out. And that's another quote I really like. And it's been helping me get by these past 30 days, just learning a lot of new stuff. And I'll, hopefully, I'll be able to retain all this information on my school. And actually apply this and keep going through life with it. Another quote I really like is, we make a living by what we get, we make a life by what we give. And I really like it, and it ties in right into my chapter with, um, spend less, be happy, and don't appear on hoarders too often, which is very much tied into this, but I really like it because giving and helping out people is something I really enjoy to do. And that's why I was part of Interact Club and Do Something Club and Did Really for Life and all that. And charity is a main part of my life, so I am very happy that my book includes something about that. One quote I like from Chapter 9 is that the hardest thing in life is to find a career that you will actually like to do. So that's what i got to figure out now. When you're growing up, there's always millions and millions of choices you can make on what you want to be when you grow up. I mean, come on, you could be a, a rock star, even though this isn't really rock. But then, of course, now for our generation, we can all be the gaming stars. Yay! Or then there's the track stars. I mean, they make money, just like, uh, I mean, I guess not music stars, unless they're playing guitar. It wouldn't be worth it. And then there's always people who dream and aspire, and they maybe will make it one day in the pro league of baseball. Who knows? There's always one of those people, or maybe they'll make it in basketball, and they'll be the champions of whatever they're doing for whichever league they or team they like. Or then there's always people who can't play songs but love to write them, and they can write their own songs, and they can make it big being a songwriter. But after all the decisions in this whole month of what I've been picking out, what I want to do, I know what I'm going to be. Phoenix police officer. Better watch out. Today is May 1st, and it's my fourth and final update report thing. And um, I stuck true to it the whole month, and I actually have a lot more money than I thought I was going to end up with. So I mean, that's always a good thing, especially for the future. But uh, I've been living more and doing a lot more than I have been for the past three years. Being far away from my friends and stuff was always a problem, but uh, I was able to figure out what to do and not break the bank. So this has been an awesome 30-day project so far, and hopefully I can really apply this to college and everything so I don't lose touch with all my friends, but I don't go broke trying to meet up with them. project and it did help me learn a lot more stuff and I mean spending no money of course is not something I am very proud of because I might rather be able to buy stuff that I didn't want <laughs> but it did help me learn spending control and going to college for the next four years is 
gonna need a lot of spending control and making sure that I don't run out of money and have to live off of nothing for a whole month or two. And then I was able to hang out with my friends and we went and played basketball and baseball and football and then even some soccer, even though I'm terrible at it. And we were able to go out and just do a whole bunch of stuff. We went and hung out. I went to one of my friend's birthday parties. We went and played paintball. I mean, it was a lot of awesome stuff. And then I also went to ASU uh, and hung out with my brother and learned what's actually what he's trying to do to make sure he doesn't spend a lot of money and learn all the little tricks and everything. And then I went and hung out with my cousin who came over here from New York. And that was really fun. We went and watched baseball games. And then we went and played mini golf and watched some movies, which is free because I worked at Harkins. And then we were able to go out and just buy a whole bunch of other stuff. But not too much stuff. I can't break that second or first rule. And then I also did stuff with my family. We went and we went swimming and we went and, of course, watched baseball games. And then. We just hung out and just talked a lot of stuff, and overall this 30-day project was a very big success, and I'm very happy, and I'm glad I actually stayed with it.